क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द सब्जेक्ट डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ मैटलैब डेमोस्ट्रेशन फॉर द इमेज एनहांसमेंट इनटू द फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन सो एक्चुअली इन दिस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर नंबर 5 we are having the image enhancement methods while working into the frequency domain we have already gone through the understanding of fourier transform and what exactly the representation into the frequency domain is the fourier transform with the sample functions their reconstruction the analyzing effect on the images the frequency domain filtering and the types of filtering we have started with so we have gone through the ideal type of low pass filter the gaussian type of low pass filter and lastly the uh, butterworth low pass filter the matlab demonstrations for the earlier one we have seen now in this video for the butterworth type of low pass filter we shall see the matlab programming so let us begin with the topic so here we are provided the matlab environment by the version r 2018b so in this particular version i take an untitled script here first of all for the programming purpose mentioning the comment the purpose of the program so this is a program for butterworth low pass filter so we begin with clearing the screen clearing the variables that are available here in the workspace from the earlier program and closing all the unnecessary windows here now we want the image so that we can filter it by the butterworth type of low pass filter so we shall be using the keyword i am here and providing the input by the syntax i am read so within the pair of parentheses and a pair of single quotes i shall be naming it uh, let us say for example we provide rice.png as the input that is available with us so we terminate this sentence with the semicolon further we shall be having the cutoff frequency denoted by fc so this fc initially i make that is 10 now the order is the second parameter available when we are working with the butterworth filters so n let us say the order it shall be equal to 1 here now we have the parameter says like c0 comma r0 we can represent and here we can assign the width the size of the input image so input image represented by i am here now we want some more parameters denoted by cx so it shall be having a round of c0 divided by 2 and here we have another parameter cy that is a round of r0 divided by 2 again now we shall be working with the fourier transform the direct one so i use the keyword uh, the variable name i am f that will hold so fft shift here and it shall be provided with the fourier transform the two dimensions so here we have the command fft2 and the input is the input image i am now we have the representation of transfer function by capital H. So initially it will be matrix of zeros and the dimensions shall be C0 and R0 the similar to that of the image. Now we shall be using a pair of for loops. The first variable i shall range from 1 to that of the C0. Another for loop we can generate here. So we shall be having another parameter. It shall also range from 1 to R0. Now we can have the task performed for the variable D here and the D shall be holding within the parenthesis I can mention this is I minus uh, the variable Cx that we have defined and it shall be squared here it is the power 2 I mentioned it shall be added further with J minus when we have cy and it shall be also having the power 2 terminating with semicolon and the filter mass h of ij so this shall be holding the formulation we have 1 divided by within the parenthesis we have 1 added 
to those brackets, square bracket what we have shown in the earlier video, the transfer function. So here it will be D that just now we have computed the summation of the squares, it shall be divided by the square of the FC here. So we can divide it to a step and make it power twice n here. So we have the power here. So it shall be 2 into n here. n is the order of the filter here. So we keep it within the parenthesis and we print it with the semicolon. So here it is 1 divided by inside the bracket we have this. So this can be again even within the parenthesis. Now afterwards we can end the pair of for loops here and we can have the variable out f that will hold the multiplication of the Fourier transform that is IMF with that of the filter mask that is capital H. Now we require the final output hence we use the keyword out here and it shall be the absolute of will be used the inverse Fourier transform I F F T two command and the input will be the variable just now we have that is out f here terminating the semicolon and now the task is to display the thing so we shall be going with the keywords and the syntaxes the I am sure the original image we shall be first of all displaying with the title original image original image here by the next line we shall be having for separate window the figure again I am show here and here we shall provide the output image after filtering process so as we expect it to have double type we make the uh, type for representation that is unit 8 here the variable out here it should be and the title we can provide so here it will be the title low pass filtered image and that is especially Butterworth low pass filter image. Butterworth low pass filter image. So this much of script I save with the name program2. So .m will be the file extension. We have this generated into the current folder and now we run this particular program. So you can see here the two windows have generated. This is the original image for the rise.png. Now the filtered image here we have Butterworth low pass filtered image. So here we have applied the cutoff frequency of 10 and the order n is equal to 1. So I shall be first of all uh, making you how the changes into the cutoff frequency will result into the variation into the output. So instead of 10 if we make 30 here. Uh, let us see the changes, saving the changes and uh, running the program here. So as compared to, you can see here it is the original image and here it is the low pass filtered image. As compared to that of having the cutoff frequency 10, see the smoothness has decreased here as we have increased the cutoff frequency. Now instead of 30, you can make it 50 as well, so running the program. So this is the filtered image, we have some more improvement over the original one. Now we can make it 80 as well, saving it. So here you can notice this is the original image and here we have the low pass filtered image with the new cutoff frequency that is 80. So see the changes. Now we shall be keeping the cutoff frequency let us say 45 here. And now I will show you the variation uh, with the order here. Instead of 1, I shall be making it 2 here. So saving the change. Uh, first of all, with the order 1, we shall see the result for this cutoff frequency running this program. So here we have the original image represented here. And now this is the Butterworth low pass filtered image with the new cutoff frequency 45 order this one. So instead of 1, we shall be making it 2 here, saving the changes, running the program. 
So here we have see the change into the smoothness. Instead of two, we shall be making it three here. The cutoff frequency is constant. So you can see here this is the original image and this is the filtered image. So smoothness variation as either we go with the varying values of the order or varying values of the cutoff frequency will uh, have the variation into the visualization. So here we have provided rise.png as the input image. I hope while working with the Butterworth low pass filters, uh, you can get the proper understanding how exactly it works and the smoothening over the input images can be made possible. So by the next lecture, we shall be having another type of technique intended to have image enhancement while working into the frequency domain. So if you like the topics like these and want some more details for digital image processing, you can subscribe to the channel. Thank you.